Hi YouTube. This is Curvy Creo Leo. I'm turn the AC down so in case you can't hear me. This is Curvy Creo Leo 86 coming to you with a, another quick update. I just came from the doctor, so as you can see, I'm in the car. Uh, just made a quick stop by the house. But uh, hey, how y'all doing? Hi to my new subscribers, cause I see I got a lot of folks started watching me uh over the past month and i appreciate all of you for for joining this ride with me and as crazy as it's been it's still crazy but it's getting better all right now um as my old subscribers and new subscribers should know by now i had ruined why gastric bypass surgery on may 3rd um it was my first choice, as y'all know, but I got it done so I could get better as far as like all of my health issues. I have gotten better as far as all my health issues. Um, in regards to sleep apnea, I'm damn near going without my machine now. It is much easier to sleep on my back. Um, I think right now with the pressure still being high because the place that like changes my pressure is back in Shreveport and I'm in Mesquite um my pressure is like a 15 but honestly I think if I go back home and take the machine to him I can ask him to put it down to maybe like a 12 or something because breathing honestly isn't that hard for me now uh it's a little bit hard for me at this moment because I have a summertime cold which sucks but um I think I gotta sneeze <coughs> Sorry about that, because that's probably not getting edited out. But anyway, uh, everything's been going good. I've had one trip to the emergency room since the surgery because of, like, food and stuff. I was cooking roast, and I had gotten into the habit of, like, chewing food and spitting it out. Because, like I said, I don't eat everything everybody in the house eats. I eat my own stuff, but I still cook for them. And before I knew it I put a piece of roast in my mouth it wasn't a big hunk or anything but I put it in there and I chewed it you know to test the flavor and I started back stirring the pot and before I knew it I swallowed it and I said oh shit so it got stuck <laughs> it got stuck I waited like three hours before I went to the hospital thinking you know it would just pass but I wasn't sure and when I finally went, they did an x-ray. They saw that it was stuck. And they called my surgeon. And this was like after midnight. And she said just to let it pass on its own. And I took it upon myself to ask the ER doctor if maybe getting a soda would kind of help break it down or help it pass. So I went and got a Sprite Zero. And within about an hour and a half, it passed. And I was feeling okay because I couldn't eat anything. I couldn't drink anything. If I tried to drink water, it came right back up. It was like a really sucky feeling. But uh, other than that, that was the only, I guess, problem that I've had since uh, the surgery. Uh, I'm still getting used to knowing how many bites I can eat or how long to wait in between bites. That's honestly how I've been getting by trying to eat food. I take a bite, put the fork down, and find something to do or get on my phone and just do something until I'm ready to take another bite because if I take too many I get that foamy nauseated feeling in the back of my throat and y'all know the rest but uh yeah surgery uh weight was 326 and today I went to the doctor well actually today and yesterday I went to my general doctor yesterday and the GYN today and I weighed the same which is drum roll I know that looks weird. Uh, 296. So since surgery, I have lost 30 pounds in a little over a month. Overall, since the pre-op um, thing, I was 350 back then. So I have lost 54 pounds since my pre-op visit when I started the liquid diet. So 26 pounds off of that and another 36 pounds off of... I mean, 24 pounds off the liquid diet and 30 pounds since the surgery. So, I'm still losing. I mean, I'm waiting for it to slow down a little bit because I do get a little scared. Like, oh crap, I'm going to be too skinny for anything. But, 
I know that's losing fans is kind of the, a part of the whole process for the first few months, so I'm I'm fine with it. I feel better. I have a neck. I have a neck, y'all. Look, I have a neck. I ain't sitting like this no more. Uh, downside, my boobs have gone away. I'm not sure what size I am anymore. Um, I just know they're not as heavy as they were. <laughs> and I can tell that they're getting smaller. So I knew I was going to have to say goodbye to them, but I didn't think it was going to be within a month. Um, let's see what else has happened. I think that's it. Nothing exciting has happened. Um, I'm still working hard trying to get my protein and my liquid in and reminding myself to take my vitamins. So, like, now I even got my vitamins sitting in the car with me. So, I remember to take them, like, because I end up driving somewhere almost every day. So, <coughs> just to make sure I have them with me. Um, let's see. Size-wise, the main difference I'm seeing is in my stomach. I still have like my spare tire. I don't know if you can see, but my spare tire right there. Um, but I mean, definitely, my stomach has gotten smaller. Uh, I know I'm in a car, and I guess I might look weird to some people, but um, my surgery scars, like there's one, and there's one, and there's like everything is pretty minimal, like. Honestly, I forget that the scars are even there. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I haven't really had any discomfort, you know, unless I eat or drink too much. I found out that I am a lightweight now. I had a glass of Arbor Mist wine, or wine cooler, whatever you want to call Arbor Mist, and it put me to sleep. So, no more hard drinking for me, which is hard, like, I was one of them people with a whole bottle of tequila, like, I'm ready to go. Nope. Wine. And I'm out. I'm completely out. But, uh, yeah, and as far as new developments and everything, I guess, dealing doctor-wise or whatnot, nothing else has been going on. My general doctor's very proud. Um... I went to the GYN, as I said before, today, and I actually had the Mirena removed, which I wish somebody had explained it to me a little more uh, before I got it, instead of the doctor forcing me into doing it. Because um, basically, she just she just kept saying, well, you know, if you get pregnant, they won't do your surgery. This is before the surgery. And I told her, I understand that. And she's like, well, what are you going to do? And I was like, well, there's other forms of birth control, condoms, spermicide. Uh, the, that little contraceptive film like it's other stuff to use but she was just so adamant about it and I decided to listen to the doctor thinking that she had my best interest at heart but she did not explain anything and before I could like even get off the table to ask her more questions after it was implanted she was already out the door and I didn't see her anymore so um, I had it taken out today because uh, TMI, this is more lady stuff than anything. Um, with the Mirena, they didn't tell me that you spot and bleed for three to six months. And that's a long time. Especially, I'm anemic. I'm like a really bad anemic. And y'all got me bleeding extra. And for me, it wasn't just spotting. It was like light to medium flow. And I didn't appreciate that at all. So today they called themselves, sending in doctor after doctor to convince me, saying, well, just keep it in for three more months and then the bleeding will stop. Who wants to bleed for three months? Like, what part about that don't y'all get? And the first doctor kept saying, well, you know, you're at high risk for endometrial cancer. And I'm like, you haven't even pulled my name up to see any of my history or anything this hospital has done for me yet. And you already talking about I'm at high risk. You saying that I'm at high risk because I have high blood pressure and of my weight. But the killer thing is, I just had weight loss surgery. I'm going to lose weight. I've already lost weight. So, to be honest, I had no choice but to keep on losing until I get to my goal. 
excuse me and it's like you already just putting that out there before you barely know my name and it's like I understand that about the endometrial cancer and all that that's why I was taking Provera and just you know having a monthly every month when I took them and I understand the whole thing about getting pregnant too soon after surgery so I'm taking my necessary steps to prevent that now she kept asking me well what are you gonna do and I said you know there's spermicides and stuff like that you know if the occasion arises and I said condoms and she started laughing time away you know people uh, get pregnant with condoms too and I'm real and I just simply told her and she stopped laughing when I said this I said well you know what if I get pregnant while using a condom that baby was meant to be here I ain't finna stop God <laughs> I'm not finna stop him I mean, we all remember like a couple of months ago the picture of the baby holding the Morena in his hand. So, what was Morena really protecting me from? So, yeah, but other than that, everything's been everything. It's been kind of a boring month. Um, I joined a new gym and I'm starting to do Zoom, but I'm not doing Zoom but today since I had the Morena re uh, removed, but I'll do it tomorrow. Um, yeah, but all in all, it's just been a humdrum month. Just gym doctor's appointments dealing with what i got going on right now and just trying to make sure the scale keeps going down rather than up so to be honest i'm happy i have no problems with what's going on right now um hopefully soon i'll be able to get back in the house and have my little my mini setup in my kitchen to talk to y'all or whatnot but for right now i'm just in the car since i'm doing stuff um trying to make sure I'm not missing anything that's pretty much it the only exciting thing was the emergency room visit with the stuck piece of it's weird to say I went to the emergency room because I had a piece of meat stuck down my throat and in my stomach that that's weird to say but it's funny uh, other than that that's it I'm gonna try to uh, in, include a few before and after pictures after this video goes off because I have been taking some face shots I've been taking some body shots or whatnot so I'm just waiting on my next appointment with Dr. Kennedy that's probably when I do another video um and probably by then I'll be clear to do more in the gym because I haven't really been lifting or anything I've just been treadmill Zumba cardio type stuff so I'm ready to get back to doing what I got to do and still on the job hunt. <coughs> I had one interview this week. I'm waiting to see if I get a call back or an email. Um, so pray for me on that. And other than that, I ain't got nothing else to say for this video. Um, I would still like to thank y'all for riding on this whole ride with me and you know, watching and being supportive and all the kind words and motivating words and everything. I appreciate all of it. Y'all don't know what it means to me to look and see that somebody has called me. A, I inspire them or just to keep going, keep pushing or they see the difference. And it's like, y'all don't know what that means. That means everything to me. Um, so in closing of my long video, sitting in the car. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe my story. Um, continue to pray for me, and I pray for you. I mean, we all in this weight loss journey or health kick journey. Even if even if you're going length to just drop weight and you just want to be healthier, we all in it together. And I know if I got questions, I'm gonna ask y'all. So just be ready. If y'all see some questions in the comment section, if y'all have questions for me. I'm open and matter of fact I opened up a new email account for uh, my YouTube and it's the same as my username curvy creole leo 86 at gmail.com so if there's nothing else I'm about to finish running for the day and try to take a nap because I've been up since 5 a.m. and I will see you nice people later bye